What's going on everyone, it's your Rifle here, and in today's video I'm going to be going over all 35 new ships in the dark below. All these 35 new ships are confirmed in the Destiny database, and I'm going to be bringing them all to you here in this video. And I don't know where they get some of these names for some of these ships. You'll see what I'm talking about. I hope this ends up helping you guys out. So to get this started, I'm going to go ahead and go over to Crota's End Raid ships, which are Bane of Dark Gods and Light in the Abyss. You can get these new ships in the new raid. And as you can see, the Bane of Dark Gods looks incredible. And so does the other one. I mean, there's so much more detail put on the ship. Yeah, sure. They all seem like... I don't know about you guys, but I think like a lot of the ships seem similar in color. I would like some more contrast in the ships. But overall, these new ships... I'm not complaining. They actually look pretty unique in my opinion. It does look awesome when flying through orbit. It stands out of the crowd, and that's the kind of ships that I like. Up next are the black and green set new ships. There's actually four of these bad boys. And you get these from a possible Vanguard ROC reward. The Extinction Event, which I said before, you get this from the new Vanguard ROC reward. Now, it's not 100% that you'll get this. I'm just saying you can get these ships for a Vanguard ROC reward. Catch me if you can. Oh, I see what you did there, Bungie. I see what you did there. And I like the frame look of this ship. It looks nice. Little Light. This is also another one that I like the way it looks. Just, it looks different. And not only is Little Light mentioned in the story, well, as you can see, a ship is named after Little Light. And I still can't get over that. That might even be an inside reference to Peter Dinklage. Anyways, up next is the Vintage Russian Soul. And this one looks awesome as well. It looks huge. And as you guys can see, they're actually switching it up a bit. They're actually adding color to the ships. So that's awesome. All right, now that's it for the green ones. Up next, I'm going to give you a combination of green and orange ship sets. You can get four of these. And these are also a reward from the Vanguard ROC, which pretty much all these ships I'm going to be showing you guys are from Vanguard ROC, the new strike playlist if you guys don't know about it. And people over the Bungie forums are talking pretty good about getting some ships from this playlist and not to mention some pretty decent gear. But then again, we do have the complainers about this new strike. But once again, guys, it's all depending on the RNG. It's all random. RNG bus. RNG bus. RNG bus. RNG bus. Anyways, for the next ships, I'm going to start talking less and just showing more. So let's get to it. All right, so to start off this green and orange set, the Ares Ascendant, which you guys will notice further in the video, that there's actually quite a lot of other ships that look similar to this frame. It looks pretty good, but I am the one to admit that a lot of these ships do look similar to each other. Alright, so the next ship I have for you guys is the Rip Ship Pardoner. There is Ether Eater. The next one is Tropos Gardener, and this one looks actually pretty awesome. Well, let's just say it looks different than a lot of other ships. Alright, now I'm going to go over the Orange and Blue set. There's four ships in this set. Atlanta's Hunt, Glory Old Jump, Scorpio Miracle, TikTok Inquisitor. Okay, these next ones, Blue and Red... AKA Optimus Prime set ships. Also, Seraphim Toaster and Steel Atreus seem to be the same style. These are possibly dropped as a Crucible reward. You know, blue and red, so red team and blue team, if that makes more sense now. Anyways, we got the 80 Proofreader, Act on Instinct. Oh man, this is a this is a word. Belisarius Defiance, Dream Eater, Newsbreaker, Plasma Donor. Which, hey, I've known some people that has donated plasma to get money. Anyways, up next is the Seraphim Toaster, Shark Whisperer, Smokehouse 6, and Steel Atreus, which, as I said before, Seraphim Toaster and Steel Atreus look very similar. Oh, man, this is a weird named ship. The Dirgible Ecorogibble. That was horrible. That was just horrible. The Dirgible Ecorogibble. And lastly but not least, Tiger Tiger. Alright, so these next ones you get from faction rank up packages. As you guys will see, the colors of each of these ships point toward each faction. Starting off with the Fermi Solution, the Tile Hard War, and the Visible Hand. There are also some new black set solid ships, which there is six of them. Eternity to Eternity, Gliding Hermitage, Obsidian Sonnet, Vienna Singer, Void Philosopher, and Zephyr Rig. And there you have it guys, all 35 new ships in the Dark Below DLC. I thought you guys might like to see this and would like to know how to get each ship. Because there's a lot of cool looking ships out there and there's probably a ship that you've seen and you're like, what the, how'd that person get that? Hopefully for any of you guys wondering about these ships, this will help you out. But that's about wrapping up this video. If the video was enjoyable, please remember to leave a like, it helps me out a lot and it's much appreciated by me. 
But I'm out of here, though. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my feet. I can't feel them. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.